Hello, I'm Councilman Frank Farrell of the town of Cortland. Today is August 4th, 2012, and I'm in Verplank at the Cortland Riverfront Park to talk to you a little bit about an idea which my colleagues on the town board have graciously permitted me to explore. If you're following the Olympics now, you realize they're going on in London, and the women's eight, uh, eight crew member rowing team just took their second gold medal, having taken a gold medal in Beijing four years ago and a gold medal just uh, a couple of days ago in London. They're five-time world champions, and uh, we're really proud of them. And that's a little bit what I would like to talk to you about today. The town board is very interested in improving access uh, to the river for recreational purposes. And to that end, they've allowed me to explore the idea of forming a crew or rowing club. And this is not something that the town is going to do on our own. What we would like to do is find people who would volunteer to help start a rowing club and gradually grow and develop to the point where we have uh, athletic rowing involving our high schools and possibly one day we can be proud of, of an Olympian who began their career training on the Hudson River. Crew is not new to the Hudson River. In fact, it's been going on uh, for, for many, many years. At one time, in, and I think it was the 1800s, there was a crew race. It was the World Championship Rowing Race in Newburgh, New York. It attracted over 50,000 uh, spectators, if you can believe it. But currently today, uh, local area high schools, for instance, Poughkeepsie, Warwick, uh, the Arlington School District, the Roundout School District, all have rowing teams. And there are rowing clubs in Piermont and Nyack and all up and down the river. For whatever reason, it's not something that we've done in Cortland. And with your help, we can change that. Here in Verplank, we've got a piece of property that was very generously donated by Mr. Jim Martin. Um, I'm proud to say I knew him for a few years, and, and he was really a wonderful guy, very modest, very low-key. Um, he, he flew airplanes out of here, and he, and he had a seaplane base. And the 24 acres that he donated to the town uh, comprised that seaplane base and some structures that were part of the seaplane base that the town has been able to preserve, most notably these hangars uh, behind me. They have uh, partial concrete floors. They're of metal construction. They were recently repainted in order to preserve them. And in my opinion, they'd be perfect for a location to store crew boats and for young athletes to begin their training. The, the sport of crew is, is a wonderful sport that people can begin in their young lives as, as students, but it's something that you can do your entire life. There are uh, leagues for young athletes, for um, world-class athletes, but also for seniors. It's, uh, it's a non-load-bearing sport. It doesn't have the impact on the body that other sports might, for instance, football. And as wonderful a sport as football is, it's, it can lead to injuries that, that can plague someone throughout their, their later years. So crew is a sport which requires um, peak physical conditioning in order to participate at a high level, but it also doesn't have the wear and tear on the body. It's good for young people, because, especially for young women, because um, intercollegiate, there's a lot of uh, scholarship money available in women's sports for crew, and it's something that a lot of colleges have realized that they can fund as part of their Title IX compliance. So for women, it's an excellent sport. Um, men and women use the same equipment, so there's not the, um, the problem of having to have different shells or different oars or different things for, for the different sexes. Everybody can use the same equipment. I think all of the high schools in our town would benefit from a crew program, particularly Hendrick Hudson, because they're located so closely to the site in Verplank. They could literally jog down from the school, train here, uh, have races here, and they could also utilize Lake Mihaw, which is also a town-owned property, which we'll walk over to in a few minutes. 
colleges on the Hudson River that have crew programs are Fordham and Marist, among others. As I said, I think this site is, is very well situated and set up for a crew program. We're about 50 yards from the Hudson River to these um, former hangar buildings, which are in really good shape. As I said, they've got concrete floors, and I'll just open one of them up so you can see. They're side opening with these large doors, which are very good to get equipment in and out. The boats could be stored here and possibly even uh, training um, apparatus can be stored, such as ergometers and other machines that crew members use in training. I'm now at Lake Mihaw, which is a town-owned lake. And adjacent to the lake is a very large field. And these properties could also possibly be used for a crew program. If the river is too rough, practices could be held on the lake, although really I'd be, have to rely on uh, people familiar with crew to tell me if this lake is indeed long enough uh, for, for a good practice. So, uh, uh, high school teams race on a 1500 meter course and professional races are, are more on a 2000 meter course. So this lake may be useful, but to what degree I don't know. And one thing I wanted to make clear, although uh, my colleagues on the town board, Supervisor Puglisi and Council Members Ann Lindau, Richard Becker, and John Sloan, have all been very gracious and, and very supportive of the idea of crew and uh, in permitting me the uh, leeway to explore it. I, I want to stress that this is not something that the town is going to fund, indeed that we're even able to fund. And it's not something that I feel I could ask the school districts to, um, to sponsor. Rather, what I'm trying to do is reach out to anyone who has participated in crew, maybe in their high school years, uh, maybe during college, and who would like to help the town and the schools to develop a crew program, beginning with an amateur rowing program and then possibly developing into something that could uh, involve interscholastic sport. My understanding is that's the way the program began in Poughkeepsie in the Arlington School District with the Poughkeepsie Rowing Club uh, doing just that, starting with a few people who were enthusiasts and then gradually building and uh, then eventually donating some equipment to the schools to the point where there are now hundreds of students who participate in, in crew. And it's a terrific sport. I think if you search YouTube, you can find uh, clips that show various colleges and schools in our area that, that participate in crew. Uh, as I said, it's the kind of sport that lends itself to being enjoyed throughout a person's life. Uh, rowing skulls go all the way from eight member uh, skulls, that's the one that the American women just won their gold in, to four member, two member, and even one. So it's something that can be enjoyed on uh, varying degrees of uh, professionalism, different numbers of participants. It's something that attracts a different type of athlete than those who might be interested in uh, football or baseball or sports of that nature. And I think it's something that we should explore. And if you're interested, please contact me through the supervisor's office, 734-1001, or you can contact me directly at work that's 737-3696. Or call the town, go to our website, get our email addresses, contact us, and if there's any way we're able to help you make this happen, we're more than happy to do it. Thank you very much for your time and for your attention.